Hello friends, this video on garbage in garbage out part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now this was all about the biodegradable wastes. What happens to the non-biodegradable wastes because they cannot be decomposed. They do not decay or they do not rot. So what do we do with those non-biodegradable wastes? So in order to dispose the non-biodegradable wastes, there are special structures which are constructed called landfills. So what are landfills? So these are low-lying open area designed for waste disposal to keep the wastes away from surrounding environment. So from where do we want to keep the wastes away? When I say surrounding environment, this would include the air, this would include the groundwater, this would also include rain, etc. Now, when we talk about these waste materials, they are non-biodegradable. That means they will not get decomposed, they will never rot, they will remain as it is. So when these waste materials get, get added to groundwater, what happens? The entire groundwater gets polluted. And this pollution, I mean the water will never get rid of this pollution. Similarly, if they are exposed to air, the air will get polluted. So it is very important that we dispose these materials at, in such a place where it does not come in contact with the surrounding air, water, ground water, etc. So for that purpose, special structures are designed either into the ground, so under the surface or on top of the ground. So in a lot of places you would see this low lying area, mostly they are like uh, a, 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 a lot, huge space where something is dug inside. So below the ground you keep everything. Now if you simply dig a pit in the ground and then start putting all the, these wastes there, do you think that will work? That will not work because the moment you put these wastes under the soil directly, so gradually these wastes will come in contact with the groundwater because the groundwater is also present below the soil. So what is done is a structure is designed below the ground. So it is like a bathtub inside the ground. So when you have a structure like that, so the waste materials inside that structure do not come in contact with the soil. So, uh, the, this landfill has a bottom liner and it also has a cover. So, something of this sort, like how you have a bathtub. So, you have a bottom liner here because of the presence of this bottom liner, it is not coming in contact with the groundwater. Again, you have a cover here. So, due to the presence of this cover, it does not come in contact with the air and all the waste materials are present inside this. So this is called landfill. So these landfills are either cons constructed below the uh, ground or it is constructed on top of the ground like a mountain. So this way the landfill keeps the non-biodegradable waste materials isolated. So see this is how a landfill might look like and then the entire landfill after after it is being covered, then a layer of soil is put over it and then it, it is just left like that for several years. No construction is done on the landfill for several years, maybe some 20-30 years. So that by that time what happens is uh, more layers of soil get added up over that area. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.